got the grips back, I got the module back. He sent the same module back that had the crack in it. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll definitely work. It looks, it looks half decent, and it's something, to be quite honest with you, you really don't see. Hopefully everything works when we, uh, when we wire it up and um, we'll go from there. A couple of things we had to change on the bike. Number one were the handlebars. Uh, we got the handlebars, and because of, I don't know if you could see up here, the roundness, the, the oval uh, cylinders, it didn't allow us to put in a switch housing, which takes your throttle, throttle and idle cable that came down here. It sort of jammed in here, and it, and it actually um, screwed us up a little bit with the wiring. So we switched to, to a, a bar that's pretty much the same, but it allowed us to make the two housings work. The grips actually work a little bit better. And um, that was a little bit of a curse for, for a half a day. As you can see, all the powder coating was done, the points covers, the, the tappet blocks, the rocker boxes, the tranny cover, which made a really nice flow to the bike. And I think once Dave gets done with the tank and, and the fenders, you know, we'll pretty much be able to put everything in place. Mini airbrush, again, you know, everybody always just sees the finished product. They never see the actual procedures that go into it. And again, you're dealing with, with, with fine arts. Everybody thinks it's, it's everything that you do, whether it's airbrush or tattooing, it's fine arts these days. Uh, everybody's pushing the envelope. So you have to be spot on when you go to airbrush a face. Probably one of the most difficult things to do is have to get the nose right. You, again, you're trying to make something look three-dimensional on a two-dimensional uh, object. So it's really complicated, uh, but I definitely like the second design better. Um, it goes with the build better, and uh, any, anytime you can challenge yourself and, and better yourself here, you gotta, you gotta push that envelope. All right, so now that we have all the artwork done on the tins here, we're gonna be getting ready to clear them. That'll be the final step. And then all we have to do is wet, sand, and buff them, and they'll be good to go. All the artwork was done. We used all House of Color products for the artwork with the candies. Uh, they have really good products, uh, which always really help. They have a, a full color bank of all certain color candies and stuff, and that really helps when you're doing custom work, like a face where you need a couple different color candies to really make it pop. So that worked out really well. So this is the tank here, and then we have the eyeball on the rear fender here. So once everything is cleared and it makes everything super smooth, gets rid of all these little funky lines, it'll really look totally different, but better. So I'm real excited to get these parts cleared today, and then, uh, and then it's up to them, they can stop us in my balls. All right, what we're gonna be doing here today is uh, wiring the whole bike up. Uh, we got our grip to wire in, we got our headlight to wire in, we got our front turn signals. Uh, we got our wires back here for the rear turn signals for when we get the uh, rear fender on. Gotta uh, wire our regulator up to the battery, get our starter wired in. Um, the biggest thing is gonna be hooking the Badlands turn signal module into the new grip. It's a little something new for me, but we should be able to figure it out. Got the horn to wire. Uh, Got the coils to wire up and all that stuff, the ignition. This is what we're gonna start doing today. We're gonna start by heat shrinking and routing the wires back. And everything's gonna end up in the battery box and the grip is just hit down under below. So I gotta run wires through the frame, down to the grip, and try and hide the wires as much as we can. There's only really gonna be one spot that you're gonna see wire running is around the neck and underneath the tank. And besides that, it's all gonna be inside the, the down tube and inside the battery box. This is heat shrink. This will go over our wires to cover for, uh, to make it look all, all solid and uniform and also shrink it together and that way the wires won't be rubbing on the frame and possible chance of it rubbing through. The cameraman hold some. Hold the f***ing thing. Don't be merry.
We got him working. He's working over here. Once you get your wires through, you take a little bit of heat, you can use a heat gun or a torch and it shrinks it down and it holds itself tight and the wires don't move around or jiggle and it's all like one, one wire now, one harness. All right, we got the, everything cleared. Everything was wet sanded. I already got the front, the front fender and the rear fender uh, wet sanded and buff. That's already done. Uh, I had some tattoos to do today, so in between doing my tattoos, I'm running back and forth uh, to do the paint work to try to get the build done. So now I have this all wet sanded. Uh, it's nice and smooth, and I just got to buff it, and then uh, it'll be ready for them to put together. That's awesome. He's gonna love that. Yeah. Looks real cool. I see how it's all night. Oh, you know, it's, it's no. not, I don't think it's shiny enough to really see. Let's go. Look how the different, yeah, the, the white, so everything cool. changes. And you see the white highlights in certain areas. And really. All right, now we have uh, the headlight and the right and left turn signal for the front, the grip and our right front brake switch all ran together, extended and in a harness and all the way back to the battery box where we're gonna, we'll be able to connect everything in after I get the turn signals wired, the coil wired up and then we're gonna put our battery in and what we ran into is because it's so tight with this oil bag in here we ended up making terminals that brought, extended the terminals back to the side. So when we set it in the battery box, we're able to slide it all the way forward and bring our battery terminals straight down. One goes to the ground where the starter bolts up and the other one was gonna run over to the top of our starter. And we have it very close to the oil bag. We took the stud and we shortened it. Plus we have uh, about a quarter inch piece of foam in there just in case something were to happen but uh, we just take extra precaution that we won't have uh, caused the 4th of July sparks underneath the bike. We brought it back so our, terminal, our battery positive terminal will hook up here and our uh, negative terminal will hook up over here. Basically right now I just called the customer and um, he's not real happy right now because we're a little bit behind on this build but you know being a custom build that's just the way it is. Yeah see this was all complete this morning at 10 o'clock until that stupid says oh yeah we don't have clearance in ours. Trust me, Dave, you had your bike three days ago if it wasn't for this stupid hand grip. 